This is a talk that's really, uh, in some ways, validated hip resurfacing for me in ways I never imagined. Yeah. So we're going to talk about doing it when someone's got arthritis and, and they've got something in the way. So here's a case where, as a child, avascular necrosis had a fibula. And this is his own fibula. This is solid cortical bone. And it, it was passed around town. Well, could he have a hip replacement? So, well, how are you going to get through that cortical bone? He had one surgeon offer to take it out, take the fibula out, and put regular cancellous bone in. But he got to me. I said, no, I think we can work around it. And uh, his parents were happy to hear that because it was his own fibula, and his, his leg itself was a little bit damaged by harvesting it to do it. It all worked out. This is another case. This is now on the other end of the spectrum. This is an old guy. He's had a rod in his femur. You can see his femur is not that great. No one wanted to take this rod out. It's an old Schneider nail. Not sure you can get it out anyway. It's been in over 50 years. And the femur left behind wasn't going to be too great. So same thing. Can you, is there even room, though, this time? Well, there barely was. So we were able to do this. And it, it, it was a big win. You can just, particularly that lateral view, you can see the kind of, and, and I just, I'll stare at an x-ray sometimes on a case like this for a solid hour trying to convince myself there's a way. And, and you have, when you're doing it, you have to know where that way is. You've got to know, it's got to be in your mind when you're starting. Here's another case, um, tantalum. That, that's a big piece put in for avascular necrosis. Yeah, you could get that out, but you'd have a pretty big hole behind, and you'd also have a weak femur. Beyond that, this patient's in their 30s anyway, so big challenge. Can you work around it? Again, the answer was if you, if you, if you can imagine a way in, you can, and we did. Here's a case that um, fairly recently done um, he had pigment villanodular synovitis, and so when they resected that, the bone was damaged. So it was supported, and you can't see it so great on an x-ray, but by some synthetic material, tricalcium phosphate, particularly on the acetabular side, but the femur was weak too. And you know, it, it was going to be no prize to try and get all this out and a new hip in, yet he was just crippled and, and needed to. We were fortunate. We were able to, to fit this in uh, around it, and it worked. It's another uh, polytrauma patient. He just kind of broke everything. This is an older guy, uh, automobile mechanic, and he got his hip replaced uh, by the doctor who called me. And uh, then said, well, we don't really want to take that rod out on the other side. Maybe there'd have to be another way. And th this is the kind of call you like to, to get, at least I do. And I was, because now if, if people are not very much a fan of hip resurfacing, and certainly they're not when it doesn't work and you hear other doctors say, well, it should never have been done. You know, for me now, f 40 years in practice, I, I take that with a grain of salt knowing you know, even the greatest critic of resurfacing is going to eventually call me. They're going to see something where they need me. So my, my biggest critics later become my friends, and I never get to pick a fight with anybody. If they want to knock for hip resurfacing, go ahead until they see that it is a good thing. This is, we had to get a little creative here. This is an infected femur that had this plate put in, and we had to get part of it out and part of it kept, and you say, well, how could you do that? Well, this is, this is uh, weak stainless steel that you could bend and bend back. I had to get, a, I had to find this plate and, uh, and work on it a little bit. That's an old Smith-Peterson nail uh, with a McLaughlin side plate. I know what that, and I had to find that device, work with it a little bit before I could tell the patient we could do this, and, and we did. Here's a fairly con simple case as these things go, just a regular old dynamic hip screw that we put in. That's the easiest one of all the ones I showed you. 
We'll take questions a little later.